Hi everyone, and welcome to the Tesla Economist. Please hit the thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. A lot of people often think that when Tesla start have robo taxis, that suddenly they'll stop selling cars to the public and they'll only make robo taxis for themselves, as that's the most profitable part of the business. But I'm going to show you why I don't think this is going to be true, and show you why it, it's owning a Tesla car for the robo taxi fleet would be more like a franchise, uh, and they would the owners would have to clean it and maintain it keep it charged, stored, and parked. Uh, managing a fleet of robot taxis is going to be a mundane task compared to what else Tesla is doing anyway. So if they can get the public to do that for them, then they can focus on the more important things like saving the world uh, and likely way more profitable anyway. And the fleet owners would take more pride in keeping their cars up to a standard than any employee would. And they'd have way more incentive. And, and Tesla will likely have some for themselves. Perhaps all the ex-leases that they will keep as they haven't offered a buyback option for these leases yet, so perhaps they might have a fleet of a million or so for themselves. Why? Well, it would give them some control and supply and demand. When some cities need more demand, they could easily cars, uh, move these cars from one city to another, and they'd simply drive themselves to the cities that need the most demand, that need more supply for all the demand. And the other reason is perhaps that whenever they want to start doing a robot tax in a new city, they could use, Tesla could use some of their own fleet to just help with initial supply um, and make sure that the consumers have enough uh, available supplies so, it, so the network works. And then gradually, more and more consumers will start using their cars as robo taxis, given that the return is so good. Um, and eventually, supply and demand will dictate, and there'll be enough there. And then Tesla can move their fleet again to start into a new city after that. Also, the sheer cost. Imagine producing 20 million cars a year. The cost for Tesla might be $25,000 per average car this stage. So that would still work out to be $500 billion a year cost of just building the cars alone, let alone running the whole robo taxi business and all the other associated costs. Elon estimates that each robo taxi averages about $30,000 a year annual revenue, but there are all other associated costs with maintaining the car, cleaning it, charging, storing, or parking, and overall management. So not all that revenue is profit. However, if you have a spare parking space, solar and battery energy, and don't mind cleaning a car once a day, then it's an easy $30,000 a year. Of course, economies of scale kick in, and there will be, will be businesses that start their own fleets and perhaps own 30 or 100 robo taxis. They want to choose a place to base themselves where there'll be lots of demand. So car parks near the airport or central to a city. Suddenly different areas of a city will have value. People think that only the Model 3 and Model 2 might be used for robo taxis, but what if Model X and Y were used too? Whenever I mention that, then instantly people say, oh, don't be stupid, why would anyone want to rent out such an expensive card robo taxis? Well, it's simple, ROI. If you buy an $80,000 Model S and it gives you $50,000 a year, as perhaps you're charging $1.50 a mile instead, that's an incredible return. It would also be the same amount of work, maintenance, management than running a Model 3, yet much higher income, so that certainly would be a possibility. Then we have the Cybertruck, of course. Well, this is a bit different again, as this offers a lot of cargo space, so you can autonomously transport items back and forth, with also very little concern about scratching or damaging the vehicle. The Cybertruck offers a lot of utility. As we haven't have to factor in people's time, like Uber drivers, then I'm not sure there would even be need to be a fixed price per mile travelled. It would probably be some AI bidding system, at least eventually. So eventually, even if Tesla did have enough money to make their own robo taxis, is it something they would really want to pursue? The maintenance and management of all the cars might be a logistic nightmare. I think Tesla would be better off with a franchise type model. You buy a Tesla car with FSD and robo taxi fleet inclusion. Riders rate their experiences and review the quality of the cars. The higher rated cars get more rides. This gives an incentive for owners to maintain their Tesla fleet to a higher quality. It's a far easier business model for Tesla. They wouldn't even need to have their snake chargers in this case as the owners are responsible for keeping it charged. The car should be getting more than enough range for a day's taxiing and then they can charge at night. If a car averages 65 cents a mile and covers 150 miles in a day, then they make around 100 bucks a day, roughly according to Elon. Elon said after Tesla take 25 to 30%, a robo taxi should still bring in about $30,000 a year, but he hasn't mentioned what cost of joining the robo taxi network. I also don't believe he's ever said that just because you bought FSD doesn't mean you've bought into the robo taxi fleet. This might be an extra cost. Either way, there is the option for Tesla to sell FSD with or without RoboTaxi Fleet Edition. So knowing that the car makes the owner about $30,000 a year, 
and the car likely costs around $45,000, as we're going to use a long-range Model 3 in our example, then what return does Tesla want to give their fleet owners, or franchisees you could say? Well, let's explore. What would the price of robotaxi inclusion be at 50% annual return? As the car costs $45,000, that would mean the FSD at $15,000 would take the total price to $60,000, offering a 50% return at $30,000 income. Considering FSD is already $10,000 now, I think this is unlikely that Tesla would only charge $15,000. So how about a 30% annual return? That's still really good. Well, if you yield $30,000 a year from a 30% return, then it comes to $100,000 of capital, making FSD cost $55,000. Now, at 20% annual return, this would be a $150,000 asset or $105,000 for FSD. Remember, investors don't want to go too low. It's not real estate. It's a depreciating asset, after all. It has limited amount of miles in it. Elon says about 11 years of life, so the overall income might be $330,000. And that's return investors should really focus on. However, if the cars are capable of doing a million miles, and it's 65 cents a mile, then that would come to $650,000. And, at a guess, more likely enough to make a million dollars per car. That could be the potential earning capacity per robotaxi. Then after that, all the parts are recyclable. This is what Elon means by Teslas will be appreciating assets. Everyone wants to buy a Tesla, as it's an asset that can generate a 30% return, which is outstanding in this day and age. Alternatively, Tesla could decide to charge $10,000 a year for your car to be a robotaxi instead. There are all sorts of options. It just depends on whether Tesla is looking for capital or long-term income. If they are looking for capital, then they would charge a higher upfront cost. Overall, in theory, it shouldn't make much difference to a fleet investor, if rational, as they should be looking at their overall return over the lifetime of the asset. So it all depends on whether Tesla is looking for more capital or consistent income. Tesla will be building these cars as fast as they can either way, so there'll be no need for more capital there. It'll be such a large amount of capital though, so I wonder what they could do with it. Assuming they don't want to deal with the hassle of owning their own robotaxis, just like they don't seem to want to deal with their own with solar themselves. Same deal. They want people to put it on their roofs with power walls rather than Tesla having their, Tesla having their own solar farms. Is this part of Elon's master plan to decentralize wealth? Tell me in the comments below. Hit the thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe.